Ohio Governor John Gilligan says that on Monday night, when he and his wife were driving near Ann Arbor, Michigan, they saw what might have been an unidentified flying object. Gilligan uh, described it as vertical-shaped and amber-colored. For weeks now, there have been reports of UFO sightings in many parts of the country, but especially the Gulf Coast. Jed Duval reports. Some motel operators have extended their greetings in this resort area, and it's in every conversation. One newspaper put a sketch of a supposed extraterrestrial visitor on the front page. Gulfport police have received so many calls that they've posted a nighttime watch, which officials say accounts for most sightings as ordinary earthly airplanes, like this one. But while on traffic duty, patrolman David Tomasovsky saw something large and round moving low and without noise right over the city. I don't know what it was. I, I know it wasn't a plane or a helicopter. You know it wasn't a plane or a helicopter? Oh, most definitely. It's, it's uh, dis distinctively different. It's uh, when you first, even the lights were even different. There was, there was no flashing lights. It was just a constant white glow. Those who are skeptical must also challenge Sergeant David Waller, who saw it too and corroborates the account. A young cab driver says his car's electrical system failed when a strange machine approached him, and then an even stranger being knocked on his window with a crab-like hand. There was sort of a uh, claw. It was big claw light. It was about this long. It kind of, uh, the skin on this was real tight. Like it, was, it was stretched on some kind of a, it looked almost like skin, but it was hard to tell. Two Pascagoula women were among four persons who watched something unexplainable over the shoreline near that city. You know, in the fog, uh, it would give out a, a kind of a glow. So it was a little bit like a um, uh, football shape, maybe not quite that. Could this possibly have been something that you all four imagined at once? Oh, no. <laughs> no way. Not, not all four of us, huh? Over in Slidell, Louisiana, a sheriff's deputy focused a home movie camera on a weird moving light in the sky. Disbelievers who've seen this film say it's merely a street light animated by the motion of the camera. Those people all seem responsible, and they all say they were sober at the times of the various sightings. They all know that they saw something and cannot explain it. There's something else that they have in common. There's no self-consciousness. There's no fear of ridicule among them. And along the coast, most people seem to accept the reports as sincere. Jed Duval, CBS News, on the Gulf Coast. Xenia, Ohio police were flagged down last night by a frantic woman who claimed three silver-skinned space creatures were walking the highway. The patrolman caught two of the creatures. They were identified as Beaver Creek, Ohio men, costumed in aluminum foil with antennae made from clothes hangers. And that's the way it is. Wednesday, October 17th, 1973. This is Water Crime Card, CBS News. Good night.